Hi, in this lecture we will discuss conceptual models. Using conceptual models helps you to think more systematically about sociological theories. It's a very useful theory tool. A theory tool is a tool which helps you to systematically present a theory. Theories can be very complex, so it's often useful to use a theory tool to get things organized. We have already reviewed one theory tool, which is the theory schema. A theory schema allows you to identify the propositions, conditions, and hypotheses that belong to a theory. A second theory tool is formal modeling. And this tool expresses theories with formalized language using abstract symbols, numbers, and equations. The third theory tool is the conceptual model. It's also called causal figure or path model. The key feature of this theory tool is that it visualizes the causal relationships between concepts. So how does it work? Consider the following example. Suppose you are interested in the attitudes people have towards other ethnic groups. This is the dependent variable Y, the outcome we want to explain. And let's visualize this concept. Well, we can highlight it in a box. Now suppose we have a theory that argues that people's inter-ethnic attitudes become more positive when they develop more inter-ethnic ties. We can visualize the independent variable inter-ethnic contacts. And then we draw an arrow. The arrow shows the direction of the causal relationship from X to Y. And the plus symbols indicate a positive relationship, meaning that inter-ethnic contacts have a positive effect on inter-ethnic attitudes. If the minus symbol had been used instead, it would mean that more frequent inter-ethnic contacts decrease positive inter-ethnic attitudes. But that's not what the theory says. So what we have visualized now using conceptual model is the idea that the more frequently people have inter-ethnic contacts, the more positive their inter-ethnic attitudes are. The conceptual model takes out the two key concepts from this idea and visualizes their relationship. In this case, it's what we call a direct causal relationship. And this means that changes in X have a direct effect on changes in Y. Now, the nice thing about conceptual models is that you can use it to present more complex ideas in a very straightforward way. Suppose, for example, that we argue that more inter-ethnic contacts leads to more positive experiences with outgrown members, which leads to more positive inter-ethnic attitudes. The relationship between X and Y is now a little bit more complex because we add another concept, Z, that is mediating the two. And this theoretical variable, Z, is called a mediator. If the impact of X on Y is completely accounted for by this third variable, Z, such that there is no other way that X affects Y than via Z, then we call this complete mediation. Another possibility is that the impact of X on Y is partly accounted for by third variable Z, such that X affects Y via Z, but also via other variables. And this is called partial mediation. For example, it could be that inter-ethnic contacts affect positive inter-ethnic attitudes via experiences, positive experience with outgroup members, but that such positive experiences do not tell the complete story of why inter-ethnic contacts leads to more positive uh, inter-ethnic attitudes. In other words, there remains an effect of inter-ethnic contacts on positive inter-ethnic attitudes, an effect which is not explained by positive intergroup inter experiences. Sometimes sociological theories argue that the impact goes in two directions. For example, one may argue that inter-ethnic contacts not only have a positive impact on inter-ethnic attitudes, but that it also works in the opposite direction. This means that people who have more inter-ethnic contacts develop more positive views about ethnic outgroups, and that when having such positive outgroup sentiments, people also develop more inter-ethnic contacts. This is called a bi-directional relation or feedback relation. Finally, using conceptual models, you can easily present moderation effects. Moderation effects, also known as interaction effects, occur when you argue that the relationship between X and Y is dependent on variables set. For example, one may argue that the 
impact of interethnic contacts on outgroup attitudes is stronger for some groups or it's stronger in some settings. Suppose we have in mind the idea that the relationship is particularly strong among ethnic majority members. Now we can visualize this with the conceptual model in the following way. The key concept here is ethnic majority membership. And the plus symbol indicates that ethnic majority members are more affected by having interethnic ties than ethnic minority members. In other words, when ethnic majority members have more interethnic ties, their views strongly change. But when minority members have more interethnic ties, their outgroup views do not change that much. That's an example of a moderation effect. Sociologists use theory tools to present theories in a systematic scientific way. They use a theory schema, a formal model, and conceptual model. Now, conceptual models focus on the key concepts of the theory, and they visualize the relationships between these concepts using arrows. It's a very, very useful theory tool, in particularly when theories are complex and have many concepts. So make sure you have this one in your toolbox. It will help you to think like a sociologist. Okay, thanks.